Then, of course, there's research. Some stories we know so well that we don't need to research them, but most have got at least something that might be unfamiliar to the reader and is possibly also unfamiliar to us. If it's in a different time or place, and we're not restricted, we can write our stories any time, past, present or future, and any place, real or imagined. If it's an imagined place, then you must make sure that you have not contradicted yourself, that everything hangs together and makes sense. But if it's a real place, you need to research it pretty carefully, because if it's a place in the present, believe me, there will be somebody who has been there, and they will tell you that's not how it is. And if it's in the past, you need to make sure that you don't make mistakes. You don't have to give them a history lesson. If that's what they want, they'll probably buy a history book. But you do need to make sure that you have not made mistakes, uh, brought in neologisms, uh, that is, terms that were not in use at the time, or fabrics that were not invented at the time, means of transport, speed of transport, uh, inventions that hadn't been created yet, fruit or vegetables which hadn't been created or did not grow in the part of the world that we're talking about, and there certainly was no way of getting them there from wherever they came from. I think we most of us know that potatoes and tomatoes come from the New World, but do we know where oranges came from and how early? And flowers, there was a tremendous amount of new botanical stuff, really useful things, like uh, rubber and quinine that came in from the Far East in the Victorian period. Just to make sure you don't yank somebody out of the period by putting in something that doesn't belong. And if in doubt, check it if you can, and if you can't, then exclude it. Because if you really don't know, it's just too dangerous to take people out of high drama into something that makes it unreal. And of course, there are always typos. I'm afraid I've made some ghastly ones myself. So ghastly, I won't even tell you what they were. But it's, it's so easy to see what you expect to see rather than what should be there. So go through it carefully and just make a mark in red if that helps so that you go through and correct everything. Now, when you've done all of that, you're ready to do your rewrite. And there may be more than one because the chances are, and I've done it often myself, I come to page 498 on the 500 page manuscript and I think what a great idea it would have been if I'd done this or that from the beginning. So it's so great an idea, I have to go back and do it from the beginning. And that isn't as hard work as you might think, because you just have to read the whole thing again and put it in. But by the time you've finished, you will be pleased with it and you will know it was the very best that you could do. You haven't been sloppy, you haven't been lazy, you haven't been careless, you haven't been second best in anything. You've done you're planning, you're making the plot dramatic, exciting, your stories have got, your characters have got backstory so that they're real, they're understandable, they're likable people with their own individual past, their life, their tastes, their sense of humour, the way they dress, who they love, who they hate, what they're frightened of, what they want. You've got the scene set so that we know where we are and we feel as if we're walking and talking and breathing the air of the time and place that we're concerned with. The dialogue is crisp, it's funny, it really reveals who the people are, and we're reading it because we, we, we're dying to know. We want to turn the page. There are real people talking to us. There are no big dumps of knowledge where we think, oh, skip that, for goodness sake, let's get on with the action. You've got something that you know is the best you can do, and it says something you really believe. You've got passion, vitality, realism, a music to it. And you've got the thing that you want to say so that it will move people. Your heart is down there on the page and it's good and it's strong and it's real and you've done a great job. Go to it. Enjoy. <laughs>